Hey, Dustin here from Retro Supply, and we recently released a new line of products, and the flagship product is called Concrete Essential Texture Packs. It's one of many packs like this we're going to do that are essential packs. The goal being that these are, you know, a slightly lower priced, really simple and to the point product for adding textures, you know, whether through, you know, uh, vector files or brushes or things like that. And the first one is a texture one for concrete, and I really wanted to just show you how that worked because I always hate it when you see products and they don't show you how to actually use them and you're kind of left being like, well, how should I use this? You might find one way to use it, but there's oftentimes tons of ways to use these products. So I wanted to kind of like give you some flavors of different ways you could do it. So you can see here, we have this awesome eagle on this pear textured, pear colored background. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place the tiff version of this on here so with each of these five each of these textures of concrete you get three versions you get a vector version a raster version and a bitmap version the tiff is the bitmap version and it's my favorite and i'll show you why here so we just get this tiff version you just place it on top of your work here just like that and it's really super high resolution um 6, by 4500 and then you just click on i to get your eyedropper tool and just like that you have a texture on top of this eagle here. And of course you can make this bigger. It's plenty big enough to keep a good resolution or you can make it small if you want the texture to be, you know, a little bit more fine. So that is the TIFF version. Now, if you need the vector version, so you can totally scale it, like if it's part of a logo or something that's going to be blown up on a gigantic sign or something like that, you can use the EPS version to do that. We would just go get the exact same texture, except this time we'll get the EPS version. And we can just paste it on top here. And once again, super, super big, although I suppose that doesn't matter with a vector version since you don't lose resolution or detail, no matter how big or small it is. But you can get this and you can do the exact same thing. So this time, just for fun, I'll just make it like a, like a white color. So you can see what it looked like if we were doing that. So just like that, same type of thing. and. Now we have it totally scalable, so everything in this entire artwork here that you would deliver could be scaled. And I'll show you a quick tip, by the way. This is kind of interesting if you're not familiar with doing this. So if you ever need to get rid of, for instance, let's say we put this texture on here and it's like still going over the edges a little bit. You can really easily fix that for, for those of you that don't know by using a clipping mask. So by putting this on top of everything and selecting this and the texture, then I can go to object, clipping mask, make, and now the texture doesn't go over the sides. Pretty cool, right? So anyways, like that's a random little thing I wanted to show you. So lastly, we can totally do this in Photoshop too, and that's where I think the raster version works best. And this is really fun because you can do a lot of different cool stuff with this. So let's place the raster version in here, and that's this JPEG version. We place it in. Now this one has a white in it, but you get so many blending modes with this. So the typical blending mode would be to go to multiply. And when you go to multiply, this looks really cool, right? And of course, it's super, again, super high resolution so we can make this as big or small as we want and not have any issues. But we'll keep it like this. I kind of like the finer texture. Let me get on top of the eagle there. There we go. We can do it like that, but you can also do like, another one of my favorites is like a linear burn. Will look kind of similar, but kind of get richer. Another one that's cool is a color burn, which will go really well. Or you can like, oh no, that's not what I was thinking. Or, well, actually you could do that. You could go to this version, so I have it on screen. Now that looks kind of funny, but check this out. Or if I go to image adjustment invert, then we have like this kind of like distressed look to it. So there's all sorts of crazy stuff you can do by playing with these. Go to lighten, go to color dodge. You can see that there's just, it's just crazy. There's an absolute amazing amount of different stuff you can do um, by playing with these blending modes. So that's really my favorite way to use um, the rasters is to play with blending modes for them. Whoa, that probably wouldn't make a client happy. But anyways, we'll go back to, actually I really liked the screen. So we'll go back to the screen. So that's a quick tour. And of course, oh, last thing, you can of course always adjust the opacity of these types of things. So it's as intense or not intense as you want it to be. You can also totally control where the effect is happening by going down here and clicking on add vector mask. And then once you've done that, you can go in with like a, any brush. I'm just going to pick like this certain brush that I tend to go to a lot. 
And using Mikachu of black hair, you could like paint out areas where you don't want that to be. So like maybe you like the texture, but it's like a little too intense. So I'm just going down clicking black onto this layer mask here. You know, maybe like I want to make sure you can really see the eagle here. You get the idea. So that in a nutshell is the idea behind the essential or the concrete essential texture pack. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the freebie. If you dig it, I would love if you would give me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.